In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Iris Shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.7. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up Iris Shaders, like so. Now enter. And here you'll find iris shaders are dev and iris shaders. Click on iris shaders. Now, here you'll find a blue download now button. Click on it. And this will bring you to download universal jar. Click on this button. And now you have iris installer.jar. So if you can't run the iris installer or it is asking you to open with another app, what you want to do is get yourself something that can run .jar files, aka Java for Windows. So what this is, it is simply a program that you can get by going to a new tab and going to your search bar. I will have this website in the description if you need it as well. It is just called JDK24 and here you'll find a website called overcall.com. Just click on Java Downloads here and this will bring you to this page here. So just do accept all and here you want to scroll down, you'll find JDK24, click on Windows if you're using Windows and I'll click on x64 installer with this link here. So with this link. You can download and install Java, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run jar files on your computer. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, as this is Iris, you might want to get yourself shaders for Minecraft. So, to get shaders, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up modwin, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modinf.com, click on modinf, and then you'll be on the modinf homepage. So from there, just go to discover content on the top of the website, and then go down to shaders. Now, you'll have a bunch of shaders that you can choose from. So, that is all the shaders you can get. There is quite a few pages of these. So, for example, if we want to get ourselves a classic, like BSL, you can just click on the name, and this will be new to this page like so. So from there, you can go to versions, and here, for most shaders, you just want to get the latest file. The version doesn't need to match. It can be close, but it doesn't need to match. You just want to get the latest file they have, and just click the green download button. And basically, once you click this button here, it will basically download it like so. And now we're gonna have our shader and iOS installer and a uh, Java for Windows if you need to run the installer. So once you have everything here, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close mine. And from there, you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, if you have Java for Windows installed, you'll be able to just double click the file here and it will show up with a window like this. Here, for the game version, make sure it is 1.21.7. You can choose if it is iris only or iris was fabric, so if you can add fabric mods for this specific version, we'll just keep it on iris only to make it nice and simple, and here you can just do install. Once it's completed, you can close the installer and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And with the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to go ahead and simply open up Minecraft Java with iris, or you can of course add the shader pack to the shader packs folder. So basically from there, you'll see that we have iris and sodium here. You can basically just click the play button and start with the game. Or if you have a shader, you can go ahead and add the shader by going to installation here on the top. Then you can go ahead and hover over iris and sodium and go to the folder icon. Here, you'll find that you have a new folder called shader packs right here. You want to double click it. And from there, you want to go to downloads, you want to select the shader you chose and copy it. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder and click paste. And here you copy pasted your shader to dot Minecraft shader packs. So once you have this, you can go to the Minecraft launcher again. You can go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and click play. Here it is going to ask you to understand the risks. Just do yes and do play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you want to go to a single player world, a server or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world here. And from there, you can go ahead and play with Iris or activate your shader. And basically, once you're in a playable Minecraft world, you can do a couple things. You can go ahead and check out that, yes, you have Sodium and Iris for 1.21.7 here. Or of course, you can go to Escape, Options, Video Settings. And here you're gonna have the sodium settings here. I'll just be close here. But here you have sodium settings, so general quality performance in advance. You can change some things here. 
And with Iris, it adds Jada packs here. That's the whole point of Iris. Here you see that we have one Jada, which is the Jada we chose, which is BSL. You can just do apply, and this will apply your shader as well. So that is one thing. Here you can see already in the background. One more thing is that if you want to edit some specific things, you can do shader pack settings here and change some things about the shader. So you can change like, the color, for example. If you want to go ahead and change something, I can change the sky color, can make it red, why not? Like so. And this will just make the sky red, for example. You can change some different lighting stuff. You can really go through the settings here, but the idea here is basically this is how we get shaders and BSL and iris for Minecraft Java 1.21.7. So yeah. In today's video, I showed you how to download and install iris for Minecraft Java. So if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.